Hi, this is Anne with the next anagram in my series on this um, population statistics exercise. I'm going to try to make this one go a little bit faster. Uh, I think the only trick with, with um, this particular function is that once again, it's easy to lose sight of what the assignment statement actually does. So um, I'm starting a little bit farther along in this process. I have already commented in the new function call that I want to um, implement. I've already pulled the code from my function outline. So what I want to implement here is get the average um, American Indian American Native population number for the 12 states we're working with. Um, I've also already put this for loop in here and um, that made the pseudocode comments line up. So I'm going to hit the beautify button make everything pretty. And I just want to talk about what's, what has to happen in here as we loop through the array and add each state's population value to the total. So what's an average? An average is simply a total over a count. Okay, so we already know exactly how we're going to calculate the average. We can type that line of code in. Um, average is equal to the total we're going to accumulate divided by the count, which in this case, um, because JavaScript is a nice language and gives us this, not all languages do, is the length of that array. So we know that that's 12 um, in the case of the real data or four in the case of our test data. So basically, we're going to accumulate a total population from all the states in the array, and then we're simply going to divide it by the count. So um, this ought to be really simple. But what happens is it gets easy to get really confused about this one simple line. Now, we've been using the assignment statement from day one to do things like this on line 88, where we have a single value and we are setting an initial value for total. We've done things like R, A, B, C, is equal to, I don't know, like we've done strings. And concatenation. We've done arithmetic. And in every one of these cases, what we have is we have something on the right-hand side, which is either a fixed value or a calculated value, and we're assigning it to the thing on the left-hand side. And that all seems really super straightforward until you get to a point like this, where you're accumulating into a variable. So total starts at zero. But what we have to do inside this loop is we have to add something to total and then assign it back to total. So this line is, we want the entry that we're working with in the array and its population, uh, which I'm just gonna pick out of the list here, okay. But what we have to do is we have to take the current value of total and add, not equals, add the population from the entry in the array that we're working through. And this tends to just blow people's mind because once again, it's easy to start reading this line from left to right and wondering how total can equal itself plus something else. And that's the problem with assignment and using this um, equal sign. It, it really, all our lives would be easier if the assignment operator looked like that. Okay. If that was the assignment operator, it would be easier to recognize that what happens is you execute the stuff on the right hand side first. So take the current value of total, add the population, and then assign that back into total. But that's not how these languages got invented. All we have is an equal sign. And so we have to actually remember that, that this code gets executed first. And the result of that code 
then is assigned back into total. Okay, so um, let's just take a look. I'm not going to add the console logging here. Uh, my guess is this code will work, but let's see if we can figure out what we think the right value should be. So with our test data, we have populations of six, seven, ten. So we think the total population is 10, and the average should probably be 10 divided by four, um, two and a half, right? So um, let's go ahead and just console log that. And then we are already set to console log the actual answer down here. So that's about all the telemetry we need. Let's um, just hit the run button and see um, how this works. Okay. So if we come down here, we can see that we're getting a total population of 10 and the average population is 2.5. And again, all I have to do to see the same values for my actual data list is switch these two lines around, run it, okay? And I see that the average population is about 161,000 per state, okay? So um, I hope that helps. Uh, I've just seen this line trip people up over and over and over again. And um, it gets really hard to think this through unless you understand that assignment always executes something on the right, even if that's just taking a constant value and assigns it to what's on the left. And we don't seem to have that much trouble here where we're doing a calculation and assigning the result to the left. But when you have the value itself that you're about to sign into in that calculation, this just, this just gets really confusing until you get used to it. Hope that helps. Um, and I think this is the last of the vids in this series. Let me know if you need anything else. And of course, I'm always available for house calls.